Our next question was sent in on Twitter using the hashtag corny drive through from Rainmaker X. Long time listener of the show. I recently heard you mention that Tom Pritchard started a wrestling school in Knoxville, Tennessee. After running from this dream for my entire life so far, I spoke with my wife and she fully supports this. Any advice for me? What the fuck? Um, <laughs> good luck and God bless. Narrow it down a little bit. But what is my entire life? Are you 25 years old or 45? What do you look like physically? What are your athletic background and qualifications? How far away are, are you uh, moving from? Have you looked in the mirror? Um, I mentioned, you know, there's not that many places that actually train properly anymore. And it's not old man Cornette saying this. It's, it, do you want to learn how to be a heart surgeon from a guy that has done heart surgery at the highest level around the country and the world and worked with all the other top surgeons in the top hospital programs and trained many of today's top surgeons? Or do you want to learn from a guy who's watched a lot of fucking medical shows on television and took a correspondence course. There are not that many veterans running wrestling training programs these days. So if you want to, if if you are in the wrestling business already and think you're a trained pro, but you're stuck in, in the Midwest where everybody's seen you and you're not breaking out because you're not anything special or the West Coast or Texas or whatever... You should look in the mirror. You should think about if I really believe in myself and that I've got what it takes, I should move across the country as Glenn Jacobs did. As we mentioned, that's why they started the program. He, he moved to Knoxville to learn how to wrestle in Smoky Mountain Wrestling to further his career. He was already a pro, but he needed to take the next step and be trained by a guy like Tom Pritchard personally who has not only trained everybody, but will, who will teach you properly and not bullshit you. He's not going to take you into wrestling school and try to teach you a moonsault on the second fucking day of training. Just like when you go to medical school, you don't pick up a scalpel, you know, in third period and start cutting on people. He's going to teach you to be safe and how to do things, things the right way. So you don't hurt yourself and cripple yourself or your opponent. And then you're going to learn psychology and et cetera. So training with veterans is is obviously the way you want to go instead of a guy who was trained by a guy who was once seen on television. But you have to hold up your end of the bargain as a wrestling school trainee, a prospective pro wrestler. Is this just something you want to learn how to do for fun? You realize you're never going to make a living at it because you're five feet four or you're already 38 years old or you're 162 pounds or you're 345 pounds or your athletic background consists of cheerleading in high school are you willing to get in the gym do you already have are you already in somewhat the shape of a professional athlete or can you play one on television are you willing to get in the gym and and improve that uh do you have the stamina and the cardio to be able to hang with guys at a professional level to learn how to do this as a business if you want to do it for fun, then you're always best off to go to the closest wrestling school. Because if you're not looking to make a career, why uproot your fucking life? If you just want to get trained for fun, go to the closest wrestling school. If you want to do this seriously, go to the best wrestling school, but have a realistic look in the mirror at who you are and what you offer and and then look at the field and say, well, well... On some wrestling shows, anybody can be a professional. Don't look at the whole field. Any, any, but now, if you look on, on the internet, in some cases, any fucking schlub can call themselves a professional wrestler. Or just look at Twitter. Everybody's either a pro wrestler or has a podcast about it. But if you can look at, at, at classes like the OVW training class in 2005 or the Ring of Honor class of of 2010 ish or you know even nxt now the underneath guys and you can say i got a shot at hanging with those guys then you should move to the best school and get and get trained under a veteran as soon as you possibly can and that's worth uh, uprooting your life for what about promos in this day and age where guys are handed scripts 
and told what to say. How do you go about teaching promos? Do you bother trying to get them to learn how to speak naturally? Well, I mean, one of the things we always did at wrestling school seminars in Ring of Honor or VW or wherever the case may be, uh, uh, any company, was we would give the guys opportunity to cut a one-minute promo. Tell me who you are and why I should give a fuck that you're here. What you want to do or why I should care about you. And they are all horrible because there are no interesting human beings in the world anymore. Under the age of 30, apparently. I don't know whether it's as they say on the news, they all text or they get on their phones or they play video games. They don't have human interaction. But, no, you just do not need to be the fucking, you know, the, the, the athlete and the wrestling technician. You need to have a personality. You need to have an engaging way of speaking and a, a, a personal magnetism that makes people want to look at you. Um, my guy, you know, here's the, th- they used to say Tony Charles was one of the most bland guys. Cause all he did was the technical stuff and the scientific stuff. He was a fucking hoot backstage. Tony Charles was a fucking barrel of monkeys. All the guys had personality then because you were trapped with other weird, unusual, outrageous and outgoing personalities in a cinder block locker room, seven nights a fucking week for 20 years. you learned to be entertaining or you get run off. Uh, but it, you know, it helps to have a personality and have an entertaining way of saying things or doing things or a, a different type of look. Don't just be bleh.